TGIF. Good job to you for watching this right now. It's not easy keeping up with devotions daily, but let's not give up doing it together. My name is Joanne and I'm currently taking a tertiary cell group. I'm studying in SIM, University at Buffalo, majoring in psychology. Yes, I know what you're thinking and no, I cannot read minds. Throughout this week, you have been hearing from the various adult leaders about their sharing about the presence of God, seeking Him and trusting Him. The teachings sound good, but the question is, how do you practically apply them in your own life? Today, let me share with you how it happened in my own personal life. Have you ever thought to yourself, I get it, it's all about doing devotions, reading the Bible, praying, the same old things. I tried and I really tried, but I keep failing to keep up with it. What's the point continuing? I'm already so busy with schoolwork and CCA, where do I find the time to do devotion? Well, trust me, I've thought about that many times and I have also gone through my fair share of not doing devotions daily. You are not alone. I used to have this attitude of doing devotions and praying for the sake of doing. I did not have an attitude of wanting to see God or experience Him. It was like a to-do list item for me. However, this changed for me completely during my transition to university. The application for university goes like this. We will apply for the various universities like NUS, NTU, SMU, etc. Then we will wait for their response. During the wait, there is nothing you can do and it is really long because they have many applications to process. You will either be cut out for an interview or they will send you an email to reject you. I was feeling very anxious throughout the entire process. The feeling is equivalent to you confessing to a person you like and waiting for that person to reply to you. And you wait for a very long time. Can you imagine that? The wait was nerve-wracking. I had no peace and I kept praying every day for God to grant me into a local university, sort of treating God like a genie to give me what I wanted. And guess what? I got rejected by the local universities that I applied for. My first thought was God did not answer my prayer. He didn't listen to me. At that time, all I could think of was, God, I prayed and read the Bible even more than I did in the past. Why do you not grant me? I have valid reasons for wanting to go to a local university. I don't have the money to study in a private university and studying in a local university gives me more opportunities for bursaries and scholarships. Why don't you want to help me? I got no money to study, you know. How would you feel if you were in my position? Do you think I thought of doing devotions? Not at all. For a very long time, I was angry and upset with God. I stopped praying, I stopped reading or even wanting to talk to him. To add on, a youth that was very dear to me decided to leave Brighton Youth at that time. And it was a big blow to me. Everything went terribly wrong. During then, I just thought God abandoned me and left me to fend for myself. However, God is really good. Even when we don't want to listen, when we are at our lowest, He will send people to encourage and help us. During that time, my brother saw me crying on one of the nights and sat down to talk to me. I shared with him my struggles and how it has been difficult for me. He offered to pray for me and send me Bible verses. He did it consistently for a few days. At first, I was thankful for the prayer, but found it annoying to see the verses that he sent, but he did not give up on it. He continued to share those verses and prayed for me. Slowly, I stopped fighting it and started by asking God to help me to find joy in spending time with him. Again, I started by reading a Christian book and then moved on to praying together with my brother and eventually picking up the Bible again. Gradually, I no longer find seeking God as a to-do list item, but a rest time I can have with Him. I try to do small prayers throughout the day and use my traveling time to read His Word or a Christian book, even when I'm busy. So do whatever it takes for you to have the rest time with God. Come on with a prayer schedule or do it together with your CG mates first to get yourself started. As I grew in terms of yearning to seek God and having the right heart posture to seek Him, guess what happened to my university situation? I got into my current university and got miraculously provided for my school fees semester after semester. And today, I'm already at my last semester and going to graduate. On top of that, He blessed me with great friends and a very flexible timetable and good results. Our God is really good. His plans for me are far beyond what I can see for myself. In closing, I want to leave you with this. 
Putting in effort and yearning to want to draw close to Him is the key. Do whatever it takes for you to get close to God and not give up on seeking Him because He will always come to meet you where you need Him the most. Let's pray. Father Lord in heaven, I just want to pray for the brothers and sisters who are watching this right now. Even as we continue with the Cultivate Plus series, may you help us to find joy in spending time with you and seeking you. I also pray for those who may have been discouraged for not being able to keep up with devotions daily. You come and help them to be able to find strength and have hope again. Lord. And I just pray for those who may be facing discouragements or setbacks in their lives right now. Come and put bright people into their lives to encourage them once again. So I leave all of us up into your hands. In Jesus' name, all God's people say, Amen.